Hi, I'm Brian Mollahan with Ruby Street Brewing, and today I want to cover how to set and use the process alarms on your Ruby Street Electric Brewery. Um, the alarms are pretty handy because it gives you an opportunity to set an alarm that uh, when your, say, your mash tun is nearing the temperature set point or hits the temperature set point you're looking for while you're running Herm's operation, you may want to use the alarm. Now you're probably familiar with using the alarm on the timer function and the countdown timer will set off the alarm. But you can also use the alarm on any of the other three PID controllers. For today's example, we only have the mash tun PID controller set up and configured. And I just want to go through a really quick tutorial on how to set and adjust the alarm for high output on the mash tun itself. First thing we're going to do is use the set or the set key and the index key. We'll press and hold the set key until it enters configuration mode. Once we're in configuration mode, we can scroll through our settings with the index key. And we're going to scroll through until we see alarm one. At alarm one, we're going to change the configuration on alarm one to six. Six is the absolute high input value. Um, there's several different con um, parameters you can set up for that alarm one. Um, six just is a high temp alarm with no history suspend at all. So we'll hit six and then we'll hit enter. So now that alarm is configured. We can hit enter again and it'll go back to our normal mode. Now to set the alarm temperature value we will scroll through the index key and now you'll have alarm one H or alarm one high. So I'm going to go ahead and set it to like 76, a few degrees above our uh, pro current process value, and go ahead and hit enter. And I'll hit enter again just to take it back to normal mode. We can see the, the temperature is at 72 right now. I'm going to go ahead and just grab a hold of the temp sensor and use my body heat to bring it up just to show this as an example. And there you go. As soon as we hit 76 degrees, the alarm goes off. You can always use the alarm switch to turn off the alarm. And if you don't want to use the alarm, the easiest way to avoid it is to just change that alarm parameter like above 200 degrees. And that's a point where it'll probably never trip. Or you go about 230 degrees and it'll definitely never trip. And then you can adjust it down to whatever you want it to. Setup would be the same for all three controllers. Um, Hopefully that helps. Thanks a lot. Take care.